everybody, welcome back to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and here on my YouTube channel, and this time out, we're gonna take a look at a brand new plugin by the cool company, Audify. This is the Mix Checker Ultra. This is a really cool utility style plugin that you wanna really consider having if you don't have it already. We're gonna walk through it. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of the differences between the original Mix Checker Pro and the Mix Checker Ultra and kind of walk you through the controls, show you all the packed features that are in this thing and then you can check it out below by clicking the link in the description box. But before we get started, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and also go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Get the free mixing course. It's right on the homepage. You cannot miss it. It's my gift to you for visiting Home Recording Made Easy. And if you stick around to the end of the video, you're gonna learn how you can get the Mix Checker Ultra by Audified as a prize pack for a mixing contest giveaway. Stick around to the end of the video. Okay, so Audified in the Mix Checker Ultra. Just so you know, Seven years ago, because I looked it up, seven years ago, I did a video for Audified on the Mix Checker Pro, which is a really cool plugin, something I've been using over the years. It is a great plugin um, where you uh, have, in one plugin window, you can simulate and listen to your mix on different environments, everything from computers to cars to speakers, so on and so forth. And I said seven years ago, that was a great plugin, you should really have it. It was really, really affordable, and I've been using it ever since. Fast forward seven years later, Audified reached out to me and said, hey Dave, we loved your Mix Checker Pro uh, video from seven years ago. Would you like to check out the new Mix Checker Ultra? We have a brand new version of this Mix Checker. This thing's got way more features than the Mix Checker Pro, and we really think you'd want to check it out and pass it along to your audience. So I said, sure, let me check it out. I haven't seen anything from Audified in a long time. This was a great opportunity to do so. Now, full disclosure, Audified is sponsoring this video in that they gave me not only this plugin for free, but they also gave me two additional free licenses that are gonna be part of our prize pack giveaway for our mixing contest coming up uh, probably sometime in the fall of 2024, depending on when you're watching this video as part of our mixing hybrid country series. So click the link in the description box below and check that out. So make sure you're on the Home Recording Made Easy uh, website and on the email list via the free download that you're gonna download on the homepage because then you'll know when the mixing contest is about to happen and Audified is going to give away some of these absolutely free. So thank you, Audified, for not only sponsoring the video, but for providing some free licenses. They're really cool people, and we're going to check out some more stuff from them in the future. So in this video, I just want to kind of walk you through the features here. This thing's packed full of features. So let's start off at the top left-hand corner and work our way around. Now, this is uh, meant to be put on your master bus as the last plug in your chain, and this is a way for you to check, again, your mix against other environments. No longer are the days where you have to print out your, your mix on an MP, on a thumb drive or on a CD and run out to the car and check it and go check it on a bunch of different uh, speaker systems around your house. You can do all of this through the Mix Tracker Ultra. So if we start over here at the top left-hand corner, we have a little menu here where we can check for updates. There's a tutorial, a user manual, which I highly recommend that you check out updates, you can go to the Audified website, your license info and all of that stuff. And you can even send them some feedback if you have some, uh, some features that you'd like to see in maybe the next version of the mix checker down the road. Next to that, we have this plus button where we can resize the GUI all the way up to 200%. Here's 125%, I kind of dig it at that size, but you can resize the GUI, which is really cool. Then under this little wrench, you can calibrate the plugin here as well. We're gonna keep it at its default. Okay, here's where it really gets interesting. Across the top here, you have what? Three, five, 10 different simulations, if you will, <laughs> of being able to check your mix on different types of playback systems. I know that was kind of a funny way to say that. Sorry about that, but let's just start off here where here you could click on the boxes and you will be hearing the emulations that Audify did for all these different types of playback systems. And let's say that if we wanna use this drop down arrow, we have a big chart that comes up so you can customize these 10 blocks any way you want. And as you roll your mouse over, you'll see in the top right hand corner, it'll give you kind of a clue of what these things are based on. This is based on the Focus 6, on the AL5 5 inch, on the Genelux 4 inch, that probably the Genelec, right? On a, uh, this is probably the Kali's. M Audios, Micro Louds, the IK Multimedias, the M Key Multimedia MTs. So we have the passive Aerotone Cube, so on and so forth. So as you scroll through these, here's the white cone NS10, you can check out up here at the top right and it'll give you a clue on what it is. But look at all these monitors. We have all these different speaker systems. Then we have like a computer 
playback system like a computer speaker with a subwoofer. We have a desktop little pebble speaker. We have lap uh, LCD screens, TV sets, laptops, all kinds of stuff, Air iPods, iPhones, tablets, earbuds, you name it. Look at all these earbuds, look at all of these. And then a slew of headphone choices that you can use. Then we have a bunch of car environments, different types of vehicles. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff. Bluetooth speakers, you name it. This is 10 times the amount of playback systems that they've kind of emulated than what was in the original Mix Checker Pro. So the whole idea is to pick, you can pick up to what, three, uh, five, 10 different environments and you can just cycle through them as you're playing back your mix, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, here's the one problem about some of these things is that you could go crazy and be checking it back on, a, on almost an infinite amount of playback systems and you're gonna be kind of like chasing, chasing a ghost, right? Not every mix is gonna sound perfect on all the different playback systems, obviously. The whole idea is to kinda of, kind of get a feel for, well, where are your mixes typically gonna be played? Are they gonna be played online? Are people gonna be listening on headphones and earbuds? Are they gonna be listening to them on laptops, iPhones? Today, most people listen to them on portable devices. So maybe I'll have my main set of speakers that I'm using in my room to do my mixing, and maybe I'll pick one or two other pairs of speakers uh, here, just so we can, um, you know, have a couple of different monitors. And then maybe here on the second block, I might go down to, you know, maybe something like, uh, you know, like a tablet or something. Uh, here's the iPad Pro tablet. Most people wouldn't be listening over the speakers, but more on earbuds. And then the 22 inch TV, maybe I would change that to a pair of AirPods or something like that. And I would pick the, you know, three or four most common ones and maybe a couple of car and a couple of headphone ones. And that's the way you want to check it. So you can customize this any way you want is what I'm getting at, which is really cool. There's also some presets up here that you can uh, choose at the top. You can save your own preset if you'd like. Down here, it even gets more interesting. And this is something brand new to this Mix Checker series. Um, you have, for every one of these different playback systems, you'll see that you, that you can change the amount of stereo bass that's in the playback. They have the default, and you can change that with this slider here. You can also change the volume of each playback separately. So as you're playing them back, if one is a little louder than the other, you can offset that per playback system. So when you're switching really quickly back and forth, the volumes are about the same, which is really, really handy, okay? That's really cool. Underneath that, you even have another set of choices. You have this one thing called auto, where if I click auto every so many seconds based on this, every three seconds based on the setting, it will switch to the next playback system. So you don't have to automatically change, you don't have to change it manually, it will just do it. And you can slow, you can speed that up or slow that down just with this little wheel here, see that? Really cool, right? So if you wanted to listen, say seven seconds and then have it switch, it'll already switch, okay? Really cool, so auto, Playback is really cool, or auto scroll is a really cool feature. So you set your different playback systems, you get your, your relative volumes the same, and then you could go ahead and you can auto cycle through them. Another really cool feature here is the noise feature. This is really cool. Well, like say if you're gonna pick one of the one of the one of the car vehicle ones, you can actually set the amount of noise and the noise level for like road noise or traffic noise. Again, how useful is that? Are you gonna use that all the time? Uh, maybe not, but it's something to consider that you can you know, every so often check that stuff. And you can also use this drop-down box to pick all kinds, like you know, in a bar. Here's noise in a bar and you can, you can control the level. So if I play this back. You can adjust the noise level. Let me get my headphones on so I can hear that as well. Really cool though. Really cool. So you can hear that. You hear that? So you could change the noise level and you can change the kind of noise. Pretty cool, especially if you're checking like your, your combo driver or like some of your vehicle settings. You can bypass the plugin right here. You can check it in mono if you wanna check things in mono. You can even add distortion. 
I'm not too sure why you'd want to do that, but you can even add some distortion and some distortion level there. So what I'm trying to say is you have a fully featured combination of stuff that you can turn on and off and customize based on the playback system to try to emulate the real world environment that your mixes are going to be played back in. This is really cool. Again, you could go overboard. I wouldn't go too crazy, but I think you have enough variety here that you could check in on just about anything. And if you pick three or four different, you know, playback systems and you add some noise and some, and some, uh, you know, some maybe check it in mono and add a little bit of distortion, you know, if it plays back and it translates well on three or four playback systems, it's going to translate anywhere. And that's the point is to get your mix to translate outside of your studio into, into the real world. And this is super helpful to do that. But it doesn't end there. <laughs> Down here, we have a bunch of different meters and scopes that we can look at to check our mix. We have everything from a, from a um, if I play this back. We have a, a drop down arrow here where we can pick different charts. We can check, uh, this can check our phase. We can check the loudness. We can check uh, the player. We can check uh, the spectrum, the stereo image, and the dynamics. And each one of these can be customized to be whatever you want. And if you want to blow up one of these a little bit, you just click on this little square here and it makes it a bigger one here. Still the carefree, innocent girl Whose little farm was her whole wide world I don't wear hand-me-downs And I don't chew crabgrass A lot of things have gone in my past Truth is deep down inside And then you can check your loudness. This is not a, a final mix. This is just kind of a demo session. So you can blow up one of these meters and then you can shrink it back down just by hitting that little square. So you can customize these five windows to anything that you want, again, to check your mix. One other really cool thing is down here in the player window, you can import a reference track. So you can check a reference track against your track in all these different areas, which is really cool. You can play back the reference track and, and, and emulate or simulate one of the playback systems or playback environments, which is really cool. I mean, this is just fully featured. I mean, compared to the original Mix Checker Pro from seven years ago, this thing blows that thing out of the water. This is really cool. And that's really it. It really is that simple. Now you could get, like I said, you could go in here and you can customize and you can tweak this stuff to your heart's content, which is really cool. You have input and output meters here um, and you can play with all these things. But I think this is something that every mixer should have. Every mixer should have. You know, there are very few plugins. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I say, there are certain, I don't ever say you need anything as far as plugins go. You can do mixing and make great mixes with the stock plugins that come with whatever DAW that you're using. And we do lots of plugin demos on this channel from channel strips to saturators to tape machines and all of that stuff, right? And I always say the stuff is cool, but you don't need any of that. But there are a handful of kinds of utility plugins that I categorize those as, where I say every mixer should have, right? One of them is uh you know a phase correction uh program like an auto line uh drum replacement plugin something like a slate trigger those things you absolutely want to have in your arsenal um room correction software like by uh by ik multimedia or arc or by uh, sound reference id sonar works um those things are essential to mixing another one of those things is the mix checker ultra it's just another way for you to be able to double check your mix, make sure you're hearing things accurately and not have to run all over God's creation to put your mix in different environments. You can do it all right from your studio, right in the sweet spot, and you can listen to all these different playback environments to get a feel for how your mix translates. And now with the addition of the noise and some of the other things that they have in all the scopes, this is really a fully featured thing. And I think one of the biggest uh, exciting things here is the player where you can import a reference track, which is really cool that not many plugins do that. So this is one of those utility plugins. I think you absolutely should take a look at the link will be in the description box below. I don't get anything. If you buy it, I, there's no affiliate link or anything like that. I'm just going to put the main link to the Audified website so you guys can check it out, but I highly encourage you to check this one out. It's affordable. Uh, current pricing, it probably runs somewhere between 100 and 150 bucks. Again, check the website for current pricing. So depending on when you're watching this video in the future, the pricing may have changed. If you're someone that has the Mix Checker Pro, the original one from six or seven years ago when I did the video, if you're wondering if this is something you should upgrade to, without a doubt, 
Absolutely. The fact that they've added all these additional features, the different ways that you can meter and look at the mix and look at all the different um, all the different things and the way and, and the amount the, now the amount of playback environments that they've that they've kind of thrown in here. Honestly, I think it's too much. I think I would only probably use three or four. I don't think I would use all ten, but you can, but you can. Um, and just the fact that they've added all these great features, I think this is a winner and certainly affordable enough and certainly something you should check out, check out if you're serious about mixing. So in a future video, when I'm doing um, a full mix here uh, with some different plugins, we're gonna use the mix checker in a real world situation. Um, so stay tuned to that coming up in a few weeks. We're actually gonna use this for real. Once I get a mix kind of done, we're gonna kind of go through and check it out and actually use it. But I uh, encourage you to go out. I think you could demo it for free for probably a week or so. Go demo the plugin and check it out. I can't imagine anybody getting a hold of this and saying that they don't think it would be a useful tool for them. But make sure you check uh, check back here soon because we're gonna do another video with the Mix Checker Ultra um, and we're gonna get up close and personal and use it in a real world and, uh, situation. Okay, so thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Now, as I said at the beginning, make sure you go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Get that free mixing course. It's right on the homepage, right at the top right-hand corner. It says free training. Click on that, put your email address in. I'm gonna send you a free mixing course. No strings attached, nothing else to do. Get it delivered directly to your inbox, okay? That'll put you on my email list. And why do you wanna be on the email list? Because you wanna learn how you can win the Mix Checker Ultra absolutely free as part of one of our mixing contests. The only way to know that is when you know about the new mixing contests that are coming up at homerecordingmadeeasy.com. This Mix Checker Ultra is gonna be part of the prize packs for the Mixing Hybrid Country course, which is gonna come out sometime in the fall of 2024. So depending on when you're watching this video, it may be long after uh, the fall of 2024 and therefore the mixing contest will be kind of expired, but you'll still be able to pick up the mixing hybrid country course and we'll be using the Mix Checker Pro as part of that as well in the course so you can see how it's used. Um, but make sure you, you wanna check that out. And again, thank you Audified for giving me some free licenses so we can give them away. Let me know in the comments below if you've used the original Mix Checker Pro and if you're thinking about upgrading, what you like about it, what you don't like about it and what other features would you like to see? I can't imagine you would add any other features. I just can't imagine you'd add anything else to this. I don't know what you would possibly add, but I don't know that there's another plugin on the market. There's lots of plugins that do, you know, like things that are similar, but nothing does it as fully featured as this. Not nothing that I've seen. So I'd like to know what you think in the comments below. So thanks so much for joining me today and checking out the Audified Mix Checker Ultra. I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.